Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. Today's prayer, I am calling it, What He Opens, No One Can Shut. What He Opens, No One Can Shut. Isaiah 22, 22, NIV. It says, I will place on his shoulders the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. Again, Isaiah 22, 22 NIV. I will place on his shoulders the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. This Bible verse made me think about... Um, I guess it was a couple years ago. I can't remember what I had going on in my mind, what I was trying to do or figure out or um, I don't know what it was. I don't remember now. But anyhow, the I got started getting concerned that I didn't want to get in God's way. I had to make a decision on something. And I was like, okay, I was you know, praying about it. I need to make this decision. I don't know which way I should handle this, what I need to do. And when I was saying all this stuff i just had to go in my mouth like, okay i don't want to get in god's way i don't want to do the wrong thing or i don't want to step out too fast i don't want to wait too long you know how sometimes you be like okay i don't know if i should go ahead and leap into this or wait or you know what i should um do because every situation can be different so i um had this going on in my mind thinking like okay lord you know i don't want to be in your way so I was talking to my husband and I said to him, I was like, you know what? I just don't know what I should do, you know, how I should go about this. And I, I tell him, I say, you know, I just don't want to, I just don't want to get in God's way. And <laughs> when I said that, my husband looked at me and he said, do you really think you can get in God's way? <laughs> and when he said it, I mean, I thought about it. What did he say? What he said, do you really think you can get in God's way? And I said, mm, well, since you put it like that, he's God. You know, little old me, anything God wants to do, he's going to do it. Anything he doesn't want to do, he's not going to do it. And my husband was like, exactly. <laughs> and so, but I just, it was interesting how I, that was, um, I was going back and forth in my mind. And I just, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't remember what it was about, you know, how I uh, went, like, went on with this situation. But it, um. It just, I mean, it just really made me think about what I was saying. And then, you know, because if I can, if I can change something that God wants done or, you know, or stop him or open up, as this verse here says, uh, what he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can um, open. Like, okay, I can, I I can, I can, you know saying, me, little me, that I can, I got that much power. I got that much power that I can prevent God from, you know from doing this, you know, but I wasn't even like, when I was saying I meant well, but then like I said, when my husband said it like that, I hadn't thought about it like that. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, so, so with that, looking at this verse, Isaiah 22, 22, where he opens, no one can shut and what he shuts, no one can, um, well, I'm shutting and what he shuts, no one can open. You know, when, um, God sent Jesus into, you know, and Jesus died for our sins and, you know, and God has all these promises for us. And some of us like, you know, maybe like, okay, some of these things are just not manifesting in, in my life. And, you know, why does not these doors are shutting? Or why doesn't some of these doors are open fast enough? And what I know, what I do know, whatever doors that God wants to open up in your life, whatever doors that, you know, he wants to open up in your life, he can do it. Trust me. He has the power to, to do it. Now, we may not fully you know believe that sometimes people are like okay i believe it but your actions say something totally different kind of like i said a couple years ago when i was like you know didn't know what i needed to do and then in my mind i'm thinking you know mean it well thinking that okay i can you know saying i can like based off of what i chose to do or however that i was gonna stop god from you know doing what he was going to um to do if he was going you know open it or shut it however so so with that know that whatever whatever it is whatever in your life 
that God has for you. He wants us to walk in obedience. He wants us to walk in obedience. He wants us to seek him. He wants us to search him. And that, I mean, I can't say that enough because I want people to understand. I want people to know how important obedience is and how important talking to God like every day and not waiting until something happens. It's kind of like a, you know how you have a bank account and if you put like a dollar in um, every day or you put ten dollars in every day and something happened, you know, a year or two, a uh, year or two uh, from when you started saving the money, you don't have to go, oh, you know, I don't have the money to, you know, my car broke down or, you know, or I you know I lost my job and I don't have, you know, you don't, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to carry on so because you know what i got some i got a little security here but with god god's not a little security god is all the security we um we need and with that so that's why you need to almost like in your 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 bank account with god or your savings account with god you need to you know be depositing something every day you need to be talking to him every day all day you know if you you know however that way when things come up in your um life you already know, so I got, I got security here. I got, you know, God brought me through this. I have been through this and that. And he pulled me through this and pulled me out of that. So I know he's going to pull me out of um, this too. I don't know how he's going to do it. I just know he's going um, to do it. And so to have that that uh, that trust and, and, and mean it. Some people say that they, you know, that, oh, I, I mean this and I believe this. And then they just go on and they just keep talking about it and worrying, worrying about it and the, um, you know how they gonna fix it and so well if you're saying God gonna fix it well you know how you know if you're saying he's gonna fix it and however he fits it you know that that should change something in our stress factor you know not that you know like it's just so easy to let something something go but so you know what I am trusting on God you know no matter how hard this is or how bad it look or how you know frightening it is I am trusting on um, God. Now, I may be a little scared. I don't know, but I know God's going to do it. And I'm asking God to help me deal with this, you know, this scaredness or this fear or this sadness or whatever it is that you have to deal with. You have to talk yourself through. You have to encourage yourself. You know, you have to, you know, inspire yourself sometimes, you know, to um, inspire yourself sometimes so that that you can stay, like I say, you can stay with what you know to be true and that what you believe to be true is, is the word of God. And know that whatever you know, this verse just says, um, whatever he opens, no one shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. So wherever Jesus opens for you, whatever he it's open, it's open. No one can shut it. And then you have people say, you know what? No, da da. I tell people a minute. So you mean tell me, man, man gonna be able to stop God from doing this? I was like, that doesn't seem like a powerful, powerful God. He can do that. And I was like, if God got to send this or that to remove that person, if he got to, you know. Stop that person for however. He has a way to do it. If that's the person that's holding holding this up or stopping this, you know, they may be all powerful and strong in this world. But we serve a powerful, 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 awesome God that a little pot of clay dirt man, you know, no matter how, you know, arrogant or how big shop, you know, they think they may be or they may think because they own the company, you know, and, you know, you're a nobody or they may think that, um, because they, you know, they, they got it all together and you just a little, little, little nobody or whatever that they can do this and do this and that, or they can stop you from doing this and that. No, no, no. You take that to God. You take whatever to God and you stand on the things of God. You stand on your relationship with God. And that's why I stress to talking to him and including him every day so that you know that you know that God is there, but if you don't have this experience or relationship because you're not including Him every day, and you know, and talking to Him every day. So when things come up, you know, it's so quick just to think about how powerful this man is. But know that you serve, we serve a powerful God, and God can come in and open whatever He wants to open, and no one can shut it, and God can close whatever He wants to close, and so. They may be telling you, you know, you'll never get this position. You know, you never, you know, can, 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 can get a higher position. You never do that. You never, you know, get an increase. You know, God can uh, one day make you the owner of that same company. You can start your own. But it's just so many ways that God can do whatever that he wants to do. And so just know what he opens, no one can shut. So let God open things for in your life. And then he sent Jesus and died for your sin. God, he promises he had the Holy Spirit here. I mean... Whatever come, not saying that things don't come to to make us, you know, to make us like, okay, start trying to think twice or to make us try to get concerned or try to add fear. But you know how we, we battle that? We battle that with God and God's word. 
and so and read it, pray, and talk to him. So I'm going to pray. Father, I come to you. Stand on Isaiah 22, 22. And your word, it said, I will place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. Father, thank you for the many, many things that you have opened in my life. And didn't let anybody shut it because they can't shut it because they're not you, God. You're all powerful. You're almighty. And Father, I thank you. And Father, thank you for all the things that you have shut in my life and no one can open because you have shut them so father i thank you and i love you thank you for jesus thank you for holy spirit and thank you for you you're an awesome god in jesus name i pray amen and so 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 just remember you know don't get all uh all been out of sh um, shape because somebody's threatening you to do this or do that or you know, or that you can't do this and can't do that, or you'll never be anything, or you'll never amount to anything, or, you know, tell you that you're unworthy, or, you know, you, you're less than. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. You just keep on serving God, and you keep on trusting Him and stand on His promise and His word, and walking in obedience. And so, if you came across this video, and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And if you have a relationship already, all you need to do is just grow your relationship. Just keep on growing. Let God manifest himself in your life however he chooses to. And know that whatever he opens in your life, you know, he opened whatever door he opened, whatever, you know, he has for you. Just tell God that you want that. You want whatever he has. You know that if God has it for you, it's going to be awesome. And whatever he shuts in your life, if somebody walked out your life or, you know, you um, lost someone for the, whatever reason and they didn't want to be a part of you. Hey, just know that may be God's way of shutting the door. You shutting the door and opening you up for something better. And so just, you know, just know that and just, just continue to, to grow a relationship. Read your Bible and trust in God and be the brightest light you can be. I'm Dr. Lee. Thank you for watching. Let go. Let God in. Keep it moving. Take care.